Hello, my favorite students. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a relief sculpture. This is a relief sculpture. It's basically a tile um, that is meant to be viewed from this direction. Um, but it's sculptural because it's three-dimensional and it has some three-dimensional form. You can feel the bumps of the form. So, here's what I did. <clears throat> First, I looked online for some reference pictures of what I wanted to sculpt. I want to sculpt a penguin, and I liked this picture that had an iceberg in the background. Then, I took the relief sculpture uh, blank paper template, and I drew a picture of what I wanted to sculpt. So it looks like that. Now, all I need is some clay, so everybody has a bag of clay, and take my template and my clay, and I start sculpting. Um, it helps to have something on your table so the clay doesn't stick, so I'm using a piece of fabric. You can use a uh, paper towel or cardboard or anything so the clay doesn't stick. And I'm just going to take this clay and smash it. I'm gonna hold my I'm gonna hold my pattern over to see if it's big enough. This needs to be a little bit bigger. Now I can just trace around my picture and it will leave a little mark where I need my details to be. I can just squish a little clay on there if I want it to be thicker or I can carve clay away to make it thinner. I like to make sure I put some nice undercuts on my objects so that they stand out and the, the form casts a shadow. Take a look at coins and you'll see really nice low relief sculptures on coins. You have just really subtle changes in the form to give shadows. That's a pretty good start here. I will finish this up and fire it and glaze it or paint it. 